hey what is up guys it's cool freak here back with one new video in this i'm gonna give you a general and my personal review on corsair harpoon rgb gaming mouse so guys let's get started <laughs> First, the mouse comes in a packaging of this kind, yellow and black color box. And the content inside, you will find Crosser Harpoon Gaming Mouse and a quick start guide. That's it. So, out of the box, this Crosser Harpoon Mouse has a high accuracy of 6000 dpi optical gaming sensor with advanced tracking. This Harpoon Mouse has a fancy rubber grip on left and right side, which gives the look of the mouse premium. Crosshair even have a dedicated software named Crosshair Utility Engine that is CUE and if you have other Crosshair products it will auto sync up. If you want to change the performance setting of this mouse and this could be done in this software and everything is in detail and clear. You can set different levels and modes also. For example, we have this action tab and as you can see, there are total of 6 keys left, right, middle, forward and backward on the left side. I have set the forward and backward key for the volume, you know, up and down. You can set your own by going to the drop down menu. In that you can set different programs example macro text remapping key media the which I am using currently next is launch applications of your choice timer then disable key like any of this key just you have to select the key in which this program can be applied and after that you can play around next we have lightning effect tab I have kept it into default rainbow mode. If you go to the advanced mode, you can find these pre-applied pulse background lightning. So I will recommend to keep it in normal mode only. In the drop down, you can find many modes which you can play around like as you wish. Then going to the DPI tab, I have set it to default. As you can see, when I click the DPI button, changes color according to the given dedicated color in the software or even you can manually set the color or speed of it and uh, guys uh, I don't advise using the maximum DPI of the mouse I normally use 2500 to 4000 but the choice is up to you last is performance tab I will recommend to set it to default so guys here in the global setting you can change the brightness of each product and check for the OTA updates of this utility engine. Now guys it's time to say about my personal point which I don't like about this mouse is the shape of the palm rest you know it's slightly curved inside so the palm rest is missing guys and it feel kind of uneven for me I have been using many mouse so it may be the reason I can guess the difference but for you it may varies second is my uh, previous mouse has braided cable but this harpoon RGB has a rubber wire but the quality of the wire is good the reason why I jumped from the red gear is because of only one flaw that is the scroll has stopped working after six months of usage so guys, uh, let's hope Crosshair should not, you know, make me unhappy even after a year. So guys, this is it. That was my full review on Corsair Harpoon RGB Gaming Mouse. Hope you enjoyed this video. Then hit the like button or you don't, then you can sure dislike it. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. I will catch you in the next one.